All right, so we're gonna try and set up this Apple TV. So we have our Apple TV. Um, I've got a monitor that uh, has an HDMI port on it. Um, so just imagine this is your television. And I have, uh, I have that cable plugged into the back. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in that HDMI cable. So it is now plugged in. And then uh, I have the power cord here as well plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into the Apple TV uh, and it should power itself right up. Um, so there are two ways to basically activate your Apple TV and get it ready to go. Um, the first of which is to, oh, let's make sure that I've got that turned on. There we go, got the switch turned on. The first of which is to actually um, tap your iOS device, it has to be a modern one, but tap your iOS device to your screen and you're going to um, be able to set up automatically, which is actually a really neat feature. It copies over all of your information uh, as, as far as your Apple ID and the account information that it needs um, to go ahead and connect to your iTunes account and all that. Um, and you don't have to even do anything, which I think is, is fantastic. Um, all right, so here we are on our main screen. Um, and so it's going to want us to uh, want to look for our device here. So um, here we've got the remote connected, it says. So we could tap on English. Go ahead and do that. There we go, United States. All right, so we could set up with device or set up manually. This is what I was talking about. If we choose set up with device, it's going to look for our iOS device. So we need to unlock it, enable Bluetooth, and then hold the device close to the Apple TV. So now I have a menu that just showed up, or a, a pop-up that just showed up on my phone that says, do you wanna set up your Apple TV now? So I'll go ahead and hit continue, and you can see it's, uh, it's looking for my network here, and it's gonna go ahead and connect and configure it. So the alternative would be to go and set it up manually, which I wouldn't recommend if you have an iPhone or an iPad or even an iPod Touch, a modern one with Bluetooth, I would set it up this way because even still with this Apple TV being new and updated, it's still not the best situation to have to go and use the keyboard. So it says enter Apple ID and password on Jared's iPod Touch. Um, so I will need to enter my password information there. Um, and uh, as soon as that window pops up on my screen. All right, so when the prompt comes up on your device, you're going to need to enter your Apple ID username and password. For me, my email address was already pre-populated, but I had to enter my password and then hit submit, and it should go ahead and finish the process of setting up. All right, so now that it has finished that process, it's gonna ask us uh, if we wanna enable or disable location services. So I'm gonna go ahead and set to enable. We then need to uh, select to use Siri or not. So we'll select use Siri. Um, and then it says see the world. And basically there are some screen savers and stuff that uh, Apple will be, able to, will be able to use with our Apple TV. And so you'll need to automatically download those as they become available or not now. So we'll go ahead and set that to automatically. And then we'll set to allow Apple to get um, diagnostics data from our Apple TV. And then also share with app developers any issues or whatever information that could help them better develop their apps. We'll go ahead and do that. And then accept the terms and conditions that we all never read. So we'll go ahead and read those uh, really quickly and then hit accept. And so now we're connected. So that is the basics of setting up and configuring an Apple TV. Obviously, the one step that we skipped over was manually setting up your Apple TV, which would have involved connecting it to a Wi-Fi network and then also um, signing into your Apple ID account. So you do need to know what the Wi-Fi um, uh, username and password is for your Wi-Fi so that you can connect to it. Um, what does make it a little bit easier is actually doing that with the phone because most of us with our phones or iPads or iPods, they're already connected to our Wi-Fi. So it's just one step easier just to connect using our pre-existing devices. So that's gonna do it for this video. Um, we also have a couple of other videos, one that is a kind of an open box first thoughts on the Apple TV, 
And then we have a couple of other setup videos that we're gonna look at as well. So if you're interested in those, make sure to uh, check out the links in the description below this video. Subscribe to our channel if you like these videos, and then you can also click the like button to let me know that you liked this specific video. Thanks so much for checking out our videos here, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.